what am I learning about my pancreatic function from my insulin and my fasting glucose and my A1C or maybe even an OGTT if I get that? So you're probably learning more about your liver by looking at your insulin because the liver is the primary target of insulin action. So when your insulin is high, it's usually because your liver has the problem, not your pancreas. If you get to the point where your pancreas is starting to fail and can't produce enough insulin, then you want to be looking at other markers. That is C-peptide. C-peptide is a piece of the insulin molecule that gets cleaved out in order to make the mature insulin. So the way your beta cells work, they make a pro-hormone called pro-insulin. If the pancreas is stressed because the blood glucose is high, because you're insulin resistant, because things are not going well, your pancreas tries to get that blood glucose down any way it can. And so what it does is it releases everything it can, including pro-insulin. So you can measure pro-insulin in the blood. You can see hyperproinsulinemia. That will tell you that you've got a problem with your beta cell because your beta cell shouldn't be releasing pro-insulin. It should be releasing insulin. 